Hello everybody, welcome to the next video. This video is about uh, use of calculator for a simple iteration method that is also known as fixed point method. So in this lecture, I'll, my focus will be on development or uh, uh, use of calculator in, in, in solution of uh, uh, nonlinear algebraic or transcendental equations by simple iteration method. So let me first discuss the main steps used uh, in the development of fixed point method. Let's suppose we want to solve an equation f of x equal to 0, which has a root near to this number uh, x naught. Or we might be given an interval that the equation has a root in the interval uh, a, b. Okay, so the first step is we, we solve this equation f of x equal to 0 in the form of x is equal to g of x which basically means you would leave everything to the left side and uh, the right side and leave x, uh, only x on the left side, right? And then uh, we would check whether these iterations, after setting the iterations, whether they are converging or not. So for that purpose, the condition is worse that initial condition or initial value of x naught, we would be checking whether g dash x naught absolute is less than one. If this is less than one for a certain representation, because you can have different type of representation for a one equation f of x equal to zero, that's x equal to g of x. So there might be some function g of x with different initial values. Uh, it might be converging or they might not be converging. They might be diverging. So if the condition is satisfied, g dash x not absolute, if that is less than one, the iterations we are setting in a while, that would be convergent. If this is greater than or equal to 1, the iterations would be divergent there. Once you came to know that the iteration will be convergent, so we set the following iterations then, that is x n plus 1, that is equal to g of x, n for different values of n, that starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on, unless we, we have a specified accuracy of a root. In this case, uh, how does it work? You will simply put the value of x naught, which will be given uh, in, in the right hand side of this equation. That would give you x1. Then we would put that x1 in this equation to get x2. Then we find x3 and so on. And then we check the convergence, whether it is converging to a specific root or not, with a certain uh, decimal place, a certain accuracy of decimal places. Okay, uh, so let me discuss the example first and then uh, I'll use uh, calculator to do those steps. So let's suppose we want to solve this uh, transcendental equation 2x minus 3 is equal to cos x. You can use, uh, you can take any example. And this equation has a root in, in the interval 3 by 2 and pi by 2. Um, yeah, you can take anything. You can take a one value as well that this equation has a root near, let's suppose 3 by 2, or we say its root is near pi by 2 or anything between these two numbers. So this equation, uh, the first step is would be solved for x. That is, we need to write uh, the equation in the form x is equal to something. And there are many operations. You can see many representation. We can simply take x is equal to cos inverse 2x minus 3. We can take uh, x is equal to cos x plus 3 divided by 2, which we are taking here. We are using that. So x is equal to 1 by 2 cos x plus 3. And in this case, obviously, g of x would be 1 over 2 cos x plus 3. And if you differentiate this function, its derivative would be minus 1 by 2 sin x, but we take absolute of it, so we get 1 by 2 sin x absolute. And you know the value of sin x is always less than 1, divided by 2 is also less than 1. Absolute value of sin x is always less than 1. So in this interval, at every point, the, 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 this derivative would be less than 1. Right, it means if you set up the iterations, the iterations will be converging to a specific root of this equation. So let's suppose uh, we choose uh, x not equal to 1.5. You can take any number, any real number in this interval, 3 by 2 to pi by 2. You can take pi by 2 as well. You can take 3 by 2. We have taken 3 by 2. And then we set the following uh, iterations. xn plus 1 would be 1 by 2 cos xn plus 3, just replacing x. Uh, in this equation, x in the left side with xn plus 1, that's the new value, whereas this x would be replaced with the old value, right, where n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. So let's start with n equal to 1, 0. 
So if we take n equal to 0, what happens is we will get x1 here, that is 1 by 2 cos x0 plus 3. And we have chosen x0 to be 1.5, so just replace 1.5. So cos 1.5 and then plus 3 dividing by 2 would give you 1.5354. Similarly, uh, now using this value 1.5354 because x2 would be 1 by 2 cos x1 plus 3 where x1 is 1.5354. So you would use this value here plus 3 and that is 1.5177. Then using this value 1.5177 here. And finding x3, that is 1.5265. Using this value for x4, right, that's 1.5221. And then repeating this process, uh, we would find x5, x6, and x7. So the x7 is uh, correct up to 3dp if you want to have a solution up to 3dp. If you want to increase the number of decimal places, so obviously we'll be doing more iterations. Right, so how do we do that in by using calculator? Let me do that, explain that for you. So uh, again, as I said earlier in the last videos, so previous videos, uh, you need to have uh, a setup or a mode. So you should go for one because that must be in math mode and the mode of calculator must be in radians. Okay, now what would you do? You simple type this equation here, let's see. I'll go for alpha and then simply put x and then I'll put equal and then we have this function uh, whatever you can simply write 0 0.5 times uh, into cos of x so we have cos then we will be having x here back and then we close the bracket and then plus 3 and closing the bracket okay it's a very simple thing uh, in a fixed point, simply take x is equal to 1 by 2 cos x plus 3. So if you we have done that, you have typed these quantities. So you simply press this calc and it would ask about the initial value. Okay, so you would simply give 1.5. So I just give 1.5 to it. So when I press equal, I would get the first value. That is 1.53536 and something like that. Next time, we don't need to do anything. Simply press this equal button. So if you press equal button once, you do that again. Okay, so you'll get 1.5177, 10158, and so on. Next time you press equal, you will give the same value to x, and then you press equal again to get the next value 1.52653619. You can increase the number of uh, significant figures as well. You press it again to get another value. You see, that's the value of x. And then you see we will be getting this value 1.5221. You press equal one that is asking for x, which you don't need to change. We it, it takes the updated value, and then you press x. The new value is 1.5243. Then we go for another one, another equal. So we get 1.5232 now, and then uh, for the next value, that's the seventh iteration, which would give you. 1.52377 something like that. So if you if you look in the values, these 523 they are repeating again and again. If you press equal, you would get, see that these three digits are repeating, three decimal places repeating. We can um, get a result up to even though nine decimal places. I, I I just press this button again and back again. I'll be getting improved result. You see the the iteration will be converging. So we have 1.5236. Next time we'll be getting 5235. If you stop at fourth iteration, you see that will become six. So next time it will be simply 5236. Then it will remain 5235, something like that. So it is converging to this root 5.23236 and so on. So I hope you understood that you, and you should practice this. Thank you very much. See you in next video.